How you doing? My guys? God, what's going on, brother? Everything good, man? How you? I've been good, brother. How's your week been, man? I know we had a crazy, crazy week. For real. It's probably one of the craziest selections I've ever seen. For real, man. Um, American Idol was in full effect. Facts. <laughs> but um, you know, I was more, I was anticipating this this beautiful episode we got going on today. Yes. So I wasn't yes. caught up in none of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. Brad, what's good, my guy? Pull, pull up and say something, my guy. Yo, yo, chill. Yo, chill. You know what? Gotta get things right. Gotta get things pull right. Pull up and say something, Plus, my guy. Plus, you know we got the celebrity ref in the building. Uh oh, it begins. It begins. Here we go. You can turn Here we my, go. turn the music down a little bit in my ear, just a little bit. Pulled up in six Rolls Royces. Yo, oh, oh, oh. back to back. Yo, coach, God, how you feeling, man? Yo, you look. Yo, I got. Yo, we gotta take a flick after this. This might be our first flick because. Woo! Just yep. in case y'all don't know, we got Coach Val in here, head referee of VOH basketball. Yep. Senior referee. Senior. You know, you gotta give him his kudos, man. He ain't even old. Oh, okay. Are you a senior ref? You ain't even old. Because I've been here from the beginning, oh, man. Oh, nah, you're not gonna. I, I, yeah, I put in that work, man. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 the confidence is on high. We like this. We like this. Oh, you, like this. You, you, you're trying to get spicy early, so. Oh, 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 oh you've you, you been tuned in. You've been watching. You've been paying You've been tuned in. Listen, okay. Man, we ready for any and everything, man. But VOH is what it's about, man. You, you know what it's about, man. Top notch athletes from, from all over the state, all over the country, really right. putting in right. work. So, you know, you, you got to have those battle scars and battle rooms. You know, I've seen a lot of great games, called a lot of great games, played mm -hmm. in a lot of great games. And that's at the end of the day, that's what it's about, you know, putting on a nice platform. You know, we got multiple guys, mm -hmm. as you guys already know, playing at, at the next level who, who play yes. in, the, yep. in the league faithfully. So, yeah, exactly. it's one of the best league, man. One of the best leagues in Rockland. And even in the city, man, city boys uh -oh. come up here and get uh -oh. spicy too. Uh -oh. So yeah. we ain't no That's pushover up here. Oh, we gotta go to Gladiator early. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna go, 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 go to Gladiator go to yet. yet. <laughs> we're not gonna, but that is a warning. That is a warning. We might have to queue it up. He gets okay. spicy. Okay. The match is the match is lit. <laughs> the ba this is just to let y'all know, man. When that Gladiator come on, you know there's gonna be some spicy talk. That's so we let him rock out right now, but. All right, let me turn this back up. Let me get this back up. <laughs> back I'll, just, I'll just award it, you know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Back to but Coach RV. Val, but how, did, how did you get involved with uh, VOH basketball? How did you and Brett link up? So me and Brett basically linked up uh, when I was at Nyack College as a player. Okay. Uh, originally from Los Angeles, California. But, oh, you know, oh, hold on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Region whoa. 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 LA, LA, LA oh. big city. Talk that talk. Man, left Coast, you already know it. Oh. Don't act brand new. Never, you already never know it. Never tuck your tail. Never tuck your tail. Never tuck your tail. You already know. So uh, being on the, on this scene in Rockland, man, just playing for Nyack College and, you know, Brett has always been in the basketball scene, in yes. the basketball world, so yes. we connected. And uh, just, you know, always motivated me. He was always giving back to the youth and, you know, right. always, you know, in the thick of things and making sure kids are doing the right thing. So we stayed connected. Yes. Uh, he started talking to me just about a lot of different leagues he, he had going on and, and pushing for the youth and, you know, mm -hmm. me and myself, I always want... Where would I be without dudes giving back to me when I was younger? So mm -hmm. that's a fact. Uh, I actually, feel like it was only right, you know. Actually, touch on that, like being from LA, like li literally from the jungle. Yeah, it's like touch on right. that subject about being from the jungle. You feel me? Yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I mean, and I'm not trying to gas it or no, anything. No, we're not glorifying. You know we're not no, town no, no. talking. Yeah, right. but look. Being from the jungles and, and growing up the way I grew up, it, it was rough. I seen basketball. Some people see it as recreational or just as a hobby. For me, I seen it as a way out of the hood. Escape, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, and, it, and it was tough, man. Rough neighborhood, mm -hmm. blood neighborhood. You know, okay. Brothers, sisters, gang infested, drug infested. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. you know, but one thing I will say about my neighborhood, it, it makes you. You yeah, know, it makes you a better person. Like mm -hmm. you go through certain things, mm -hmm. you know, being shot at at a young age, seeing mm -hmm. countless deaths. I mean, I can't even count it. You know, mm -hmm. uh, but that can either break you or that can motivate you. That's For me, it, it motivated me. I wanted to. This game of basketball has allowed me to travel the entire globe. Mm -hmm. And you know, mm -hmm. get a, get a get a great education. So yeah, talk to him. For me. Um, I always saw it as motivation, and I knew I was gonna be better Word. than my the way I grew up. Yeah, you know? mm -hmm. absolutely. And uh, young kids all over the world, man. You know, you're going through something. You know, you're living in a rough neighborhood. You know, 
we live in testaments right now that you mm -hmm. keep grinding, keep putting in that mm -hmm. work, and, and good things can't happen for you. That's but, fact. you know, only the strong survive where I grew up, man. Only the strong survive, and I'm blessed that I'm here. Beautiful mm -hmm. family, uh, right. doing what I love, which is basketball, refereeing, coaching. And at the end of the day, I wouldn't have made it without great coaches, great people in my corner who uh, kept, me, kept me on the right track, so. Word, and so, I talk about that a little bit more because everybody sees now, they see you on the successful side, they see everything calm and they think everything's all, you know, peaches and cream, but in reality, you had to come from this jungle and transition and adapt to be what you are today. So talk about that adaptation and what you had to change to now get to where you at as the family, the family man, yeah, and the rep, man. and all that. Mm -hmm. Just growing up in the jungle, man. Celebrity <laughs> rep, yeah. with the shiniest shoes. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> they be shining that bad. They be gleaming. I keep it clean though. I keep it clean. <laughs> nah, go ahead, go ahead, brother. Nah, but you know, um, growing up, man, I, I was just like every other kid, man. You know, um, you grow up in a rough neighborhood. You mm -hmm. could either go one way, you can go this direction. I've seen dudes who are better than me, at, mm -hmm. you know, who had millions of, potential to make millions, right? Mm -hmm. Bunch of offers, you know, let the streets get to them and didn't make it. Mm -hmm. So, um, for no. me growing up, just seeing that, it was like, yo, this dude's better than me. Like, yeah. and he didn't make it because his head mm -hmm. wasn't on straight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. OGs around me, they kept me narrow, kept me, kept me focused. So. Mm -hmm. My mind frame started to change when I was uh, when I was in junior college and graduating as a senior in high school. Okay. Um, just seeing so many deaths, man, around me, I like, yo, God, it has to be, it has to be much more for me than right. this. Uh, so I really just turned the corner, just right. really just stayed in the gym, focused in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You That's know, important. focused in the classroom, got on the dean's list in junior college, played, mm -hmm. you know, won 14 straight conference championships at my junior college. Nice. And then you know, had multiple wow. had multiple offers. Yeah. So go, going into junior college, it was like all we knew was win. Yeah. If you right. didn't win, you didn't want to break that streak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I came in, it was twelve straight. So if you break that streak. It's you. Oh, you the one that oh, lost. Yeah. 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 Yo, your team lost. Right. Yeah. Right. So right. it just kept me motivated, man. Got my associates, and you know, I keep on harping on. I had so many people in my corner that really just That's motivated me, man, and just kept me on a straight and narrow. Now there's days and and weeks when I was just, you know, out of it, lost. Uh -huh. And then somebody tapped me on my shoulder, like, "Yo, man, you you here for a purpose? You mm -hmm. here for, you know, remember what the, what the plan, what the end goal is?" So mm -hmm. it, it's not easy, and we all know that it's not easy. Right. Uh, but you gotta, if you're willing to lock in and put in the work, you know, you can do it. It's not it, it's not that hard. People. Say that it's really hard, uh, but it's not that hard. It's a lot of effort and energy. Nothing's, right. nothing's gonna come easy. Mm -hmm. Not at all. You know? I heard you uh, mention um, that you coach as well at uh, Nia College. How'd you get involved with that? So, uh, like I said, I, I played there, um, but wait, wait, talk about you know what made you choose not before you even jump into the coaching or not. What out of all the yeah, schools you said you probably had, and yeah. then you went what to What made Nye you College? decide to go to Nye? For all the way on the West Coast, right. what made you yeah. choose this little school of Nye, Nye compared to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, or? no, no. Speaking about it, man, I, 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 so I had my associates, you know, I had Lola Marimont, it's a small D1 in California. I had, mm -hmm. oh, you nah. know, um, my fault, my fault. I, had, uh, I don't even cut you off. My fault. Was, we can't let we can't let that song ride. We can't let that. Yeah, we can't let that go. I had uh, I had a few a few D one offers, but you know it didn't plan out. With uh, a mm -hmm. few wanted me to register, mm -hmm. and oh, a okay. few a few wanted me to uh, to take the year off. So you know, Coach Jones, who uh, originally recruited me uh, from Nyack, mm -hmm. um, he used to coach at Riverside in uh, in California. Okay. And so I had a connection there, uh, and my my former coach used to coach with him. Okay. So he told me about Nyack, and I'm like, Nyack College, where is this? Where is this? Yeah. L.A. boy, right? Right. And he mentioned New York, so I'm thinking, okay, L.A., New York. I always wanted to, to go to New York. I had been there uh, for AAU tournaments, and mm -hmm. I had uh -huh. been around the country, but only for like two or three days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking... LA, New York, it sounds better than Texas. I was, I, I offered from Texas A&M, Laredo. It's a small, okay, small okay. town in Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm not ready for Texas, but New York sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, long story short, um, 
that's how I ended up choosing Nyack. And I had not even signed with him. I came out here like the first week of school mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't sign anything yet. And I just, you know, I had some stuff with me and I just ended up staying. And I mean, they offered me, I, I took it. And the rest, the rest is history, man, as far as being a player and, uh, you know, taking it to that, to that next level. But shortly after my two years uh, at Nyack, you know, uh, I, uh, I always love the game. So, uh -huh. like I said, this game is taking me so far. Mm -hmm. uh, Sweden, London. Wow. Um, I was in China for 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 a tour. Okay. Uh, and then I came back, and my my assistant he, he kept asking me. Well, the head coach at the time he kept uh -huh. asking me, "Come, come back, get into get into it." And it was Coach Quinn. Get into it. I want you to be an assistant coach. And at this time, I was still balling, still uh -huh. playing. Okay. Um, and I was just like. I don't know, man. I don't know. You don't know if it was 